Hi guys, let's take a look at this question. They give us the reaction that is used in the Haber process to manufacture ammonia and they give us the various boiling points of the substances that is used in that reaction. We have hydrogen, nitrogen and ammonia. 3.1, they want us to refer to the intermolecular forces and explain the difference in the boiling point of ammonia and nitrogen. So we first look at the intermolecular forces, right, between the molecules. So we have ammonia. What are the intermolecular forces there? It's the hydrogen bonds, right? And in, the, in nitrogen, we have London forces or induced dipole forces. Now we know that Hydrogen bonds are stronger intermolecular forces than London forces. Therefore, ammonia will have a higher boiling point than nitrogen. Okay. BP. 3.2. Write on the formula of the substance that will have the lowest melting point. So the lowest melting point will also have the lowest boiling point. And on this graph here, on this table, which has the lowest boiling point? Hydrogen. So the lowest melting point will then also be hydrogen. 3.3. Explain why hydrogen will evaporate faster than nitrogen. Refer to the type and relative strength of the intermolecular forces. Okay, they want three marks. So, so if we look at hydrogen and we look at nitrogen, both of them, have weak London forces. Both are weak London forces, right? But nitrogen has a larger molecular mass or is a larger molecule than hydrogen. And therefore, they will have stronger intermolecular forces. And that is why hydrogen will evaporate faster than nitrogen. Okay, 3.4. Write on the formula of the substance in the table that will have the highest vapor pressure and explain your answer. So the highest vapor pressure is the one with the lowest boiling point. So again, the one with the lowest boiling point here is hydrogen. Okay, so we've got to explain that for three marks. You'll get a mark for stating the formula, then you get two marks for, the, for your reasoning, right? So the first thing you would, I would say is that the one with the lowest boiling point will have the highest vapor pressure. And then I will talk about the intermolecular forces. I will say that hydrogen also has the weakest intermolecular forces. Or you could just say hydrogen has London forces. And that should explain why it has the highest vapor pressure. Okay. And that's it, guys. See you in the next one.